This week on Archer's Choice. So Russ and Luke, father and son, are gonna head out to Jared's. It's just fun, and then that the a father and son yep. can have that opportunity and go out there and see what, you know, share that hunting experience. He's a big bear. What do you say? We let the beam and fly. Boy, get him where it hurts. This is a beautiful bear. Hey, welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week, we're gonna head up to Washington. Okanagan Valley Guide Service, Jared Gibbons, and I'm gonna tell you something. This is the place for late season mule deer. It's fun. It is fun. I mean, it's long sits. Oh, long days. Long, I mean, sun you're up, in the blind really before, before sun, up sun up to, to after, after sundown, sun unless you shoot something. Yes. Otherwise, you're there all day long. You mean packing lunches, maybe yep. bring a cushion to sit on because it's a really long day. But the reality of it is, is, you know, Jared and his guys, they do all the scouting, they get everything set up. We got our blinds out there, and, yep. and I mean, it's just fun. It's just something else different to go and experience. Yeah. And now this time though, we actually couldn't go. No. So Russ and Luke, father and son, are going to head out to Jared's. They're also the outfitters of Adrenaline Outfitters up in Manitoba, where we bear hunt. I, I mean, it's just fun. And then that the a father and son yep. can have that opportunity and go out there and see what, you know, share that hunting experience. And we're driving in 20 degrees and snow. It's a beautiful winter holiday. A tire week with my son. Yay! Mom is terrified. She thinks I'm going to wreck you in a week. <laughs> Do you blame her? <laughs> we're just uh, leaving Fargo. That's three and a half hours into the 21 hour journey that uh, Luke and I are on, heading to Washington. Uh, the weather's already better than it was back home. The streets are dry, no snow, so the next 601 miles should be a breeze. Uh, we're just outside of Billings now. We're going to hit the Cabela's there, pick up a few things we didn't have, and uh, have lunch, and drive a few more hours. We want to make sure that we're uh, settled in the hotel room before the Sunday nighter. And uh, yeah, looking forward to watching the game. And then tomorrow we will get to camp and meet up with Jared. We're on our way to Okanagan Valley Guide Service in Omak, Washington. Yesterday we left at about 7.30. Um, this morning we were leaving a bit late, but we're hoping to get another eight to nine hours in. Everything's been going really smooth. Hope it continues. We contacted Jared. He said I was supposed to call him when I got to Spokane. And uh, I believe we'll get there right around lunchtime. And we should be in camp, I think around two, three at the latest. Uh, we have four different type of uh, mule deer hunts that we, we run. From early September, uh, we have our early archery. And right after that come mid-September, uh, to the end of September, we have our muzzleload season. Uh, then we jump right into our rifle season, which is mid-October. We run that for a 10-day season there. And then a last, of course, is our late archery season, uh, the one we all look forward to. Uh, this late season hunt is, is definitely the one we, we look forward to all year. We hunt mainly out of ground blinds, and that's been our most successful way of doing things. This, this is a migration hunt. You know, it is a weather dependent hunt, but you know, 95% of the time we get some weather that moves in. We have our deer population more than doubles and the, and the deer migrate down to the lowlands right during our private, through our private lands. And it's a phenomenal hunt. 10 days before season, we had five inches of snow. We all thought, here we go, we're gonna have a great season. Then we look at the forecast, we're starting to get into some 50 degree temps. Man, did it warm up, snow melted off. Uh, we'd had a, a good push of deer that came down and they've stayed down, you know, the rut was still on and right now at the end of the season, it's tailing off and now they're getting into the post rut. So 
we got lots of deer still down uh, right now, but still we haven't had a full-blown uh, big migration of deer. Uh, you know, our success rate has been, you know, mostly in the 90% range, uh, running with close to 100% opportunity, pretty dang close. I think we've had just probably two hunters that didn't get an opportunity, but, uh, you know, we're, our success rate is something we're really proud of. Where? At Okanagan Valley Guide Service. <laughs> Why? Because a big hunt. No. Mule deer. Okay. Henry. You know, we've hunted with the past with Jared and had some right. incredible experiences. side. Look, he's got blood all the way up to the fletching. Okay. That's good blood. That is good blood. I felt really good. And when he did that mule deer kick, no, there's blood right here. There's some blood there. I see him. Okay. He's right there. He is the biggest body deer that we saw. By far. By far. He's a five by three. Five he's beautiful. Three. And he's got that muley face. He doesn't oh, yeah. have the, oh, he's he, got the white nose, the... He's definitely a Roman nosed yeah, I mean, look at this. Okanagan Valley Guide Service. This is Washington. This is where you need to come and hunt some muleys. Big old mule deer. In the state of Washington, you can supplemental feed. Right. And that's what, you know, Jared does in a lot of his areas, yeah. which does help, especially with all the major fires They've and the incidents they have. I mean, it's it's been pretty rough on a lot of those right. critters. Right, and, and Jared has a pretty big area out there, yep. you know? So one of the things with supplemental feeding also is because they, he actually has migrating mule deer coming right. through. Coming, coming down out of the from, high country, the high going country, to the going low down country. Low country. So it's gonna help that migration kind of wean their way past where oh, they yeah. need to be.
you know, one of the things is, is he has you sit all day yep. because we've been there. You literally can have movement at any point in time from sun up to sundown. And, and I mean, so you're there, you're on a hunt. Why not stick it out? The big buck comes in, he starts to hook her, then this little buck comes and he's like, nah, I'm not letting that happen. You're in any rutting situation on any big game animal, you know you have a millisecond to make it happen. Oh, oh, he's done. You see all the blood. He's done, buddy. This is the first morning out. And you know me. I see a nice animal, I'm shooting, baby. And we just shot. Here's zero right here, guys. Oh, complete pass through. Spitfires, baby. When your whiteout's red, you're having a good day. Right here. This is where I lost him. There he is, guys. He's right here. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Oh, no wonder. Look at the shot, bud. Look at this. Oh my gosh. First Washington mule deer with Jared Gibbons, baby. Right on. Love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The Cabela's team comes through again. You know, we ain't, we ain't looking to say, oh, what's your score? You know what I mean? Exactly. We want to mature animal. You, this is this. Look at look at his bases. Yep. Everything about him, and he is going on the wall and in the freezer. It's the end of our first day of hunting at Okanagan Valley Guide Service. It was a fun day. Uh, it started off with lots of small does and small bucks. Um, then some average stuff started coming in, and then we saw the one we were waiting for. Um, started coming in, got about halfway, and then turned up and went back up the hill, and we didn't see him again. Um, it was a tough break, um, but we, we packed up, hopped in the truck, guide pulled the, pulled the card, and we saw that just after, just after shooting light, he was there, we just couldn't see him. So we're going to the same, same spot tomorrow. Um, hopefully we can get him then. Is, is that they're just going to that sagebrush. They're not that far away. They're just bedding down. And then all of a sudden, boom, out of the clear blue, a new buck appeared. Right. That's because he's coming out of the high country. He's heading down. The rut is kicking in. Everything is in your favor to just have the patience and sit there. Even though it's long and painful, the reward will be there. So we had a good day, saw lots of deer. Um, the shooters are out there. We didn't see them today but we know they're there. Uh, we're gonna head back there tomorrow and um, hopefully we get lucky. Congratulations, buddy. I think we got a deer, but I'm not going to shake your hand. Never shake a guy's hand before you find it. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. 
<laughs> you the lucky hunter? Really. Yeah, it's, it's a three by four. Perfect. One of those. It's one of those? Yeah. Well, good. We'll have to go get them. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Go get them, buddy. <laughs> nice spot. <laughs> Heck yeah. You want to get me your bow? Yeah. Arrow still in them. Oh, big body. Big old deer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Oh, good deal. Thank you. Very welcome, man. This is a fun hunt. Good. First mule deer? Oh, yeah. First buck, actually. Is it really? Yeah. Never Whoa. even shot a whitetail. <laughs> well, good one to break you in on, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. Nice. Now, this is actually Luke. It's his first, he's actually, it's his Me? first deer with his bow. Yeah. Which so that is was pretty so cool. Congratulations, cool. Luke. That's awesome. To share that with, you know, with your dad and the dad to share that with his son. Man, it, this is, I can't wait till RJ. I, you know what I mean? Yeah. Every time we go out with him, it's just that much more fulfilling. For our last day here at Okanagan Valley Guide Service, we had a shooter buck come in before legal light and he stuck around till after legal light and it turned to camera light but then he just didn't give me a shot and took off with a dough. It's a nice four by three, no high guards. It's the last day, it would have been perfect. We've got about another nine hours in the blind and nine hours left in the hunt. I just doubled in Washington and Okanagan Valley Guide Service. There's so much shaking going on in the in the blind right now. This is funny. How do you like hunting? Okay. Well, I'm gonna try to text Sam to come pick up. I'll try. Well, we're here with Okanagan Valley Guide Service. Luke and I. Uh, well, Luke took a week off school. We. Uh, we put a lot of time in the blind, spent, uh, spent more hours together than we have in a long time. It was actually great between the drive and the blind. Now it's a matter of cleaning them up and starting that uh, 21 hour drive home and I think Luke's going to make it for school on Monday, so everybody's happy. I wish Ralph and Vicky could have made it here, you know, having you guys in camp was great. Absolutely enjoyed the guys that came here, uh, great to have in camp, good times, always welcome back and uh, hopefully we can see Ralph and Vicky back again here in the future. Jared, we can't thank you enough for allowing Russ and Luke, father and son, yeah. you know, to go down there and experience that and share that together because guys, that's what this is all about. It is. And we, we want to thank you guys it. for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.